Hi, and welcome back to today's more report on Thursday, the 25th of February. For me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handset Markets, my final chart of the day is gold. Really interesting move, actually, we've seen in gold. We've seen this breakout of the, uh, the symmetrical triangle, this consolidation pattern, broke higher yesterday and broke above, interestingly enough, the 1239.50 resistance. So that was a strong positive move. But you then saw the intraday move back lower. So you saw some pretty mi mixed sort of candle there. Uh, and it sort of muddies the waters of the outlook because you've got these momentum indicators which are certainly not su suggesting significant upside. I mean, they're sort of, if anything, just sort of flattening off. And that gives me a little bit of concern. But today's candle is stronger. So it's sort of negating to a certain extent the sort of negative impact of yesterday's move. And I say negative, it wasn't really that negative. I mean, it's it was still up on the day and... Um, still looks a, a reasonable candle but the fact that it's sort of closed so much back off the low was a, a bit of a bit of a disappointment you would certainly argue but you're back about you are certainly trading now decisively above the 23.6% fib level so theoretically that would suggest i think you're probably coming back towards the highs again 1260 but again i'm just a little bit sort of reticent to get too excited about this gold price run um and uh, with these momentum indicators, really. But for now, we're still positive with this sort of breakout. Um, I've sort of also harked back to the silver chart, which is an interesting move, and it's still sort of potentially even topping out. So could that, again, ha have an impact on this gold chart? Now, we've got this... Um, hourly chart which again is, is relatively positive you're trading sort of pretty much above all the moving averages which are all rising momentum indicators positively configured across the board so you're not not really got too many problems not only that you're, you're trading above this sort of pivot that I had in place at 1232 um, a slight intraday correction in the last couple of hours um, maybe uh, that is sort of beginning to show a bit of that um, sort of waning momentum but I wouldn't necessarily sort of get too um, too worked up about this chart unless you started to fall back below that 23.6% fib level around 1216 because that would be a couple of um, below yesterday's low and again that would be sort of suggestive of a bit of a turnaround um, but yeah these momentum indicators generally on a I mean these are sort of more on a, a medium term basis that I'm sort of concerned about the momentum not the near term basis I think the near term chart as in the hourly chart is still pretty positive um, and reflective of the gains that we've seen in the last couple of days but just not entirely convinced that the run higher has got too much further to go in it and we might get a, a bit of a poke at the old high 1260 but I'm not expecting sort of a massive breakout by any means but um, still looks relatively positive from a near term basis anyway with that breakout of the triangle so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later thank you